about 10 minutes tonight, it looked like Matt Jackson was going to have a serious challenge. But then the next 10 minutes happened. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Special thanks to my brother for <clears throat> taking over the show yesterday, I guess, without my permission. Turn my back for one minute and the kid's up at the board writing down 4,000. Luckily, someone stopped him. He is... Uh, Competing in some sort of mustache competition in a couple weeks, which explains the whole facial hair problem that he has going on right now. I prefer him clean shaven, but he does the beard thing every once in a while. Best of luck in your growing, I guess. That sounds about right. John was our challenger tonight, who uh, gave Matt a little bit of a scare. He had 8,000 after uh, the first round, but he's only got 4,400 heading into the second round. Matt just lit it up, taking $10,000 in clues right off the bat and then getting a daily double and doing a 6,000 thing. Uh, the second daily double, he had an $800 clue in the diet category, and he could have gone really big, but he made the smart play. The best way to make money is to come back the next day, not to take your one shot and put the game at risk by wagering out $20,000 or $15,000 even. Don't let John or Ernestine have a chance to come back. So Matt's got this one locked up again. Uh, John and Ernestine, a little bit of a mind game here. John doesn't quite have one and a half times Ernestine's total. So if she doubles up, she's got 6,000. So John should wager 1,600. And if he's wrong, he's at 2,800, so Ernestine should just stand pat, I would say. Or if she's afraid that John's going to do something, wager to cover a zero wager by him and force him to get it right. But Ernestine knew her Hesse, as did Matt. I don't know what the extra $9 was. Didn't really round up that uh, total he had. I thought it was going to go to 230 even, but now he's got a 10 at the end instead of a 1. Maybe it's a lucky number. Maybe it's a call out to tomorrow's game when he'll have a chance to win his ninth victory. But it's at eight now, and he's now the solo leader for the TOC leaderboard. He'd have to lose before November, or when does it start? 11th? Or 9th? Whatever that second full week in November is in order to even be in the tournament. I don't think he's invincible, but... Uh, you never know, maybe he's going to reel off another eight wins, and then eight more, and then keep on going. It's going to be fun to watch either way, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow for another probably light on the calculations installment of The Final Wager.